Good morning, brothers and sisters. Thank God for blessing us to see another glorious day. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for allowing us to continue a little while longer. Amen. In the land of the living, in the natural, down here on planet Earth. Amen. Let me go right into the word of the true and living God. Once again, Jesus said unto his disciples, If I go away, I will come back and receive you unto myself, that ye may be where I be now. The Bible said it is impossible for God to lie. That means it's not possible for God to lie. God says what he means and it is no lie. God do not use wasted words. If God said that he's coming back, that means what? He's coming back. See? If God said that he's going to receive those that are here and take them to where he is now, huh? Sustenance, huh? By faith. Faith is the substance of things what hope for, the evidence of things what not seen. We don't see his kingdom that we see down here in the natural, but by faith we do see his kingdom. And his kingdom is hope. Which means it has what? No substance unless it's what? You have faith in in his word. Faith come by hearing, hearing come by what? The word. See? The word has substance, evidence, tangibility that your senses can what? Understand. See? Because it's in the law of God. And the law of God's word is what? Faith. You can't get around it. You got to have what? The word of God. See? See? Hope is nothing because it don't have sustenance. But if you put faith with your hope, see, then it has what? Sustenance, tangibility. See? see? You can see it by the law of God in God's what? World, his spiritual world. And you can understand about what? The law here, even down here in the natural, huh? In the tangibility of what? Of miracles. See? Huh? Healing. Huh? And so on. See? That our faith latched on to. So hope and faith goes together. You can't have one without the other. You just can't. It's just like the wet with the water. You use water, got to have the wet to come with it. See? So if God says what he says and means what he says, that means what? It's impossible for God to do what? Lie. And then if God lied, guess what? The whole Bible is what? Invalidated. But God cannot lie. It's impossible for God to laugh. Amen. That means what? It's not possible for him to laugh. So I wanted to start out with that right there to let you know that God said he's coming back for whom? For whom? His own. He's coming back for those that have what? That have endured until the end in the word of God that when it's proclaimed, it what? It brings what? Faith. That's what faith comes from. The word of God. Faith coming back here. Hearing coming about what? The word of God. 
You got to know something about the Word of God. You got to be in what? The Word of God. The Spirit of God. The same mind that Christ has, we have. The Spirit of the Word of God. I'm going to drill it in you. So you can stop leaning on enemy, stop leaning on what? The props and crutches that we've been leaning on all along, trying to, try to what? Get our way through one day to the next in God. See, faith don't come by crying. Faith don't come by what? Uh, 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 bickering. Faith don't come by what? Fasting. Faith don't come by what? Huh? It don't come by all these things that we think we have to go through. Faith come by what? Hearing. Hearing what? The word of the true and living God. What? Doing the word of God. Having your, that word in your spirit. That's what faith comes by. It don't come by fasting. It come by hearing. See? And hearing by what? The word of God. I got this from Dr. Casey Frederick Price. And I'm not, ash I'm not ashamed of him. Whatever you all think about him or whatever, 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 that's between you, God, and him. But I'm here to what? To what? To receive truth and righteousness of God's word from whosoever. From whosoever. See? That claims to be of God and that has what? A good track record. This apostle had a good track record. I'm not his God. I'm not his judge. That's between him and God. Or we're between him and God. Amen? So, that's the teaching that I got from him. And I've been listening to him for over, I think, 30 some years, 40 some years. You know what I mean? And I hear others that I listen to. The one that I have been impressed, I mean, in, inspired by, by the power of God and impressed. He is one of many. Amen? So, and I, he had that faith thing. See? And he wants to get away from all this crying and wanting and, and, and what? Biggering and all this right here. Just, Lord, give me more faith. Lord, help me, Lord, with this. No, you can help yourself. What about you? You need to help yourself so you can do what God said. You cannot advocate. You cannot get around this thing here. Faith coming by hearing. Can you hear? Hearing by what? The word of God. Can you what? Read? That's what faith comes by. As often as you put what in, what? You will get what? What you get out. See? You can't go to the bank and save five cents every pay period and expect to get $5,000 at the end of the year. You're only going to get what you put in. See? See? If you sow sparsely, I mean you little, you're going to get out what? Little. So if you read your Bible, what? A little. You see? And don't have that quality time with God. And then when you need it, you're only going to get out what you, what, sold into it, the time you sold into it. See? So we have to spend with God some quality time every day. Get up in the morning with God in your mouth. Go to bed with God in your mouth. Get up every day as you walk through the corridors of life. Talk to him. He's a spirit. People think you're crazy anyway. They think you're seeing a spirit. So, amen. Right in the soul. You, he's a spirit. Who you talking to, man? I'm talking to God. He's a spirit. You can't even see him. But I can't. Can you see him? <laughs> huh? Why you moving your mouth, girl? You moving? I'm talking to God. He's a spirit. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, we talking. We, we communicate. We, we conversing. Uh, can you see him? I mean, don't do what they say. I talk to God all the time. I want to talk to him more and more and more and more. That's why I say, what? Faith coming. It coming. It never stop. Adding what? Infinitum. It keeps coming, coming, coming. Continuum. 
faith coming. In for 90 years. Add in plus coming. In for 90. Add that in. In for 90 means what? It never stops. It never stops. See? So we add it in what? Infinitum with what our faith and faith will continue what to come. It cometh. It cometh. And often as you what? Read the word. It coming. It coming. And when I say read the word, don't read it just by the letter. Just to say, well, I read this, I quote this. No. You got to read it with the understanding thereof that I'm going to be obedient there what? Unto the word. And not unto the devil. See? And another point that Dr. Fred Price came through, uh, 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 he said, he said, we don't deny that there is sickness. We don't deny that there's even wickedness around us. But he said what? In God, by faith coming, by spending with the word, we make sure that those things have no what? Dic dic uh, that those things are not used to dictate to us how our life is going to be run. He said, in God, no. See, we're going for a higher revelation. A high what? Understanding of God's word. You see, we're going to ignore these things. We know they exist. We're not saying they don't exist. There are pain. There is pain. There's sickness. People got a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But we're not going to allow those to dictate to us our what? Our way of living in God. It's what God said and not what the devil said. Are y'all hearing this? I got all this from Dr. Fred Price. And I used the Bible as an acid test to make sure that he saying what he was saying was of God. And I took that and it worked. It been working over 40 years with me. And every time what I said, what? It coming, it's coming. It make me stronger. It make me bolder. And that's what I'm trying to give to you all. Jesus is all ready here. Jesus said, if I tell you that I'm coming back to get you, he said what? Then I'm coming back to get you. So he's not just talking about that instance when skies open, raised from the grave, those that are walking that's up here. No, he's talking about I'm coming back to get you. He's coming back to get you in a, in a way that we ought to know best when we read God's word and faith coming. I mean, we believe it. We understand it. We stand on it. We obey it. That means what? He's coming all along. He's coming. He coming. He coming. He coming. He not waiting for just one particular. No, he's coming now. He's coming in your life, in your soul, in your spirit. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. And then all of a sudden, all, all of a sudden, there's gonna, gonna, there gonna be a day when what? He don't have to come no more. Why? Because he's right there. He right there. What? At the last end of that phrase, there, I'm gonna get you. Are you coming to what? To get you from where? Out of the sinful nature, sinful world. Because he already done it. He already prepared what? Your spirit is all about the spirit. That's already ready now. See? It's been fixed. It's been molded. My heart is made up. My mind, what's that? My heart is fixed and my mind is made up. Why? Over 30 and 40 some years because he was coming. He was coming. He was coming. The word coming. The word coming. Faith. What? Coming. Coming. From whom? The word of God. And who is the word of God? The word of God, Jesus the Christ. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. The same was in the beginning with God. Oh. I'm just here to help. Help you a little bit today. Okay, now, let's get down here to what we do see. Huh? Most of us that we walk about what? We walk about what? The law of this earth here. The law of this world here. This system in which the devil runs. See? It may. But even, that, even he don't have power over because God can intervene and help anytime he wants to. Because when something is yours and you run it and that belongs to you, guess what? Nobody else can what? Stop you from what? No. 
See, but he had to go, the devil had to go to God and get permission like he did with Job. Let me touch Job and I'll make him cuss you to your faith. But see, the devil didn't realize what? That, that, that faith coming with Job. It coming, it coming. And it came to the point in that area there whereby Job trust God. He believed in God. He didn't care what you saw or anybody else saw, but he was looking in the spirit realm because he was dealing with God for in the spirit realm. See? Oh, listen to me. And Job ain't got to the point said, although my God slay me, because the devil couldn't do it unless God gave him permission to do it. Although my God slay, he didn't look at the devil killing him, giving him balls and sickness all. He looked at God. He knew the devil couldn't do it unless God what? Allowed it. He knew that. So he would, it, it came from it came from this way from the devil, but he would look at the God. And in all of that way that he stayed focused on God, we got to stay focused what, on the word. Huh? Forget about my sickness. Forget about my pain. Forget about counts. Forget about blood pressure. Just put your hand in God's word here. Stay focused on God's word. What God said, God said, with this strike, we are made whole. He said, with his strike. No, let me, let me, let me do it right. He said, with his strikes, we were healed. Word is past tense. Not gonna be here. See? Past tense. We were here. Yeah, there's pain. Huh? But I'm not gonna give it what? I'm not gonna give you power to rule over me what I should say and do in God's word. No, 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 no. And we need the power of God in our spirit to what? To help us do that. Take our eye off pain. Take our eye off what this. Take our eye off that right there. That ain't of God. See? See? That faith may what? Come. I hope I'm saying this correctly for y'all. I hope somebody gets something out of this right here. Somebody woke up with a lot of pain this morning. And they've been reading that word and standing on that word there. And I just want to let you know, this is a confirmation that, guess what? You are in the right place at the right time, in the Word of God, for faith coming by hearing and hearing by what? The Word of God. God had to last say so. And I'm told in Matthew that what? We were healed by His strength. What Jesus went through, see, in the natural as well as the spirit, He covered all ground, all territory. By his strength, we were healed. We were healed. Stay focused on the word of God. All right, now, i let you know here what's going on here. What's going on here? The world is in, in the natural. It's a, it's, this is chaotic time for those in the natural. I'm talking to my heathen, my Gentiles. And any other name that the devil used to convince you through other folks, that's your name. See? See? But I see you as what? The creation of Almighty God. See? The human family. Ain't but one race. We were made from one blood. One creation. One man and one man. Woman coming out of man. Huh? After being put to sleep, God took a rib out of man and made one man. Gave it to the man. Those two became as one. Husband and wife, as one. Same thing with the people of God, as the church of God, as one. We are the bride. We are the church. We are the woman. We are the what? The church of God, the people of God, as one with God. That's what I'm talking about. See? So what we got going on here now in the natural here is that we have been bombarded by, by, by propaganda, by the devil using willing vessel to tell lies, more lies, and more lies, to prom promulgate, huh? to continue to peddle this and spill this poison that comes from the pits of hell. And he got everybody from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Listening to one another with lies. 
huh? Theories, untruth. See, and it will make you think that where is God? Where is the truth of God? But God said it in His Word. He said what? As lies, so many words prevail. Even what? The truth of God. Sin will never outcrease to the point or increase to the point that will run God what? Out of this earth here. Oh, no, 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 no. So, uh, mm -mm. As sin increase, the love of God what? Increase even more. So the light is still here. The righteousness of Christ is still here. The holiness of Christ is still here. But God said what? He said, pray ye, he told his disciples, Jesus told his disciples, pray ye that the Lord of the harvest will send what? More labor. We are short of labor. That's why we can't hear the word of God. That's why we can't see the manifestation here in the, in, in the natural, the power of Almighty God. That's when you get signs and wonder to let what? Those that are what? Not of God see the power of God. It's for them. Signs and wonder. So they can see what? The power of Almighty God. God wants you to see His power. Because most of you, a lot of you, is not going to believe by what? Sitting here reading and having faith. Are y'all getting this? See? So God sends what? He sends, he sends a teacher. He sends what? He sends a, a, a prophet. He sends, he sends what? Disciples. Throughout all the earth. To the human family. So the gospel can be what? Declare. See? Declare is when you go out there and you what? You, you advocate. You go out there and you, you preach. You know what I mean? And you teach. And you show all those things that God has shown you to do, to bring those souls what, into the family of Almighty God. You declare the gospel of God. That's why I say what? Faith can't come unless it's what? The word of God is what? Proclaim. They got to hear. And how will they hear if a teacher or a preacher have not been sent to them? Where are the laborers in the vineyard of the Lord? Going out what? To the harvest. The lost souls of the field or this planet earth field. Where are the laborers? God is sending laborers to let you know what's going on. Oh, glory be to God. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? They're talking about nuclear this and nuclear that and bomb this and bomb that. I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure here now that when, 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 when the children of Israel was in bondage in the natural over there in the physical land of Egypt, I'm quite sure that when, 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 when God came through there and, uh, and uh, he let his disciples and let the people know they had a, a connection with him, that I'm getting ready to destroy the land of Egypt. I'm getting ready to put this stuff here on the Egyptians. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm bring my people out. And I'm quite sure they, they said, oh, Lord, oh, well, how are you going to do this thing here, Lord? You want us to go and get a lot of chariots, uh, our new weapon, see, you know, Lord, or, or we would have made this and we would have made No, he said, not by your hand, not by your hand, but by my hand, my word, thus said the Lord. I will deliver my people. God don't need nuclear weapons. He don't need this right here. He don't need you to do nothing for him to deliver that belongs to him. Or even those that would come to the Lord if there were laborers out there to proclaim what? The gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news. He don't need, he don't need that. See? So all this stuff that man made and man doing and, and promulgating and, 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 and all these lies and, and all this right here and we on the verge of this, that, and the other, you know what I mean? They're gonna get to a point here that God will what? He's gonna move them out of the way. He's gonna move them out of the way. He's gonna say what? He said, I'll take over here. I I I take it from here. 
Let me show you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the bugs. I'm going to use the air. I'm going to use the water. I'm going to use what? The fire. I'm going to use all these things here, amen, to deliver my people out of this evil and wicked world here. System of the devil. And you're going to be surprised. And that's what God doing now. Y'all think these disease and all this other stuff gone away. No, they still here. Even, even those that, that, was, that plagued the Egyptians in the natural about eh, over there in the, in the land of Egypt, they're still here. Satan been using what? People what? To underline, try to do, underline the word of God. See? Smother the word of God. Are they still here? They still here? HIV still here? Huh? Is it still here? See? But God told his people, he said, D, D, what? D, D, plague will never, what? Come now unto you. Those that, what? Believe, what? In the word of God. Those who, what? Walk with God. Talk with God. Listen to God. Case of hell should not prevail. That means what? Everything that is from the picks of hell should not prevail and come upon whom? Those that believe and trust what? In the word of God. I don't know about y'all, but I believe that yet still in 2023. And this will talk what? Thousands of years ago. Amen. Amen. I'm not talking about some man that 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 that, that, that came that came uh, 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 600 years after Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. And try to tell us who Jesus really is. Like Allah and, 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 uh, and for example, Allah and uh, uh, Jesus is one, they one and the same. Or uh, Allah and God is one and the same. No, 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 you can't, you can't tell that lie here. Here's somebody come 600 years after Jesus, and you want you know more about Jesus than Jesus know about himself and his disciples. And your book quotes the Bible. The Bible never quotes the Quran or the Hadith. Never. But it quotes the Bible. That's what I tell you some folks right there and right there. And that go for any and other religions as well. That go from the Catholic on down to what the Protestants on down to what the Baptists on down. Everybody want to pick their little corner and say, oh, this is how Jesus came. Oh, this is how God come. Oh, this ain't Jesus. This is a man. Now Jesus told him, he said, he said, my father is a spirit. And those that worship him, must worship him in spirit and in truth. He said, the words I speak unto you are spirit. Huh? Huh? What did I tell you? It's spirit. Which means what? If I speak these words unto you that are spirit, and then I tell you what? In the beginning was God. Uh, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. That means what? It got to be spirit too, ain't it? God got to be spirit too, ain't it? Jesus got to be spirit too, ain't it? Manifest himself. What's so hard about God manifest in, in flesh? What's so hard about God having a son? Won't, 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 won't Adam was a son of God? Adam was created what? Full grown. Didn't have a mother. Didn't have a father. He had a spiritual father. God Almighty. God Jehovah. Don't come in here. Y'all listen to all this wind, all, all, all this wind, wind blowing with a bunch of lies from the pits of hell. But you're too lazy to go and read for yourself the Bible, the Holy Scripture. That was what first called the Holy Scripture. The same word that God told Moses, what, even in five books of the Bible, he said, what, get a stride and go and write this down. Write it in a book. You're too lazy. Did he know that? You think a white man wrote this? You think a black man wrote this? You think this, that, and the other? No, 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 no. How can somebody black, black, black uh, in the flesh write something that's so spiritual? And even today, the most read book upon the planet. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. After you get finished hearing all this right here, you need to run. Run to the mountain. Run to the hill. 
They're coming your help, for your help coming from the Lord, who made heaven and earth and everything there is. And start studying the word of God for yourself. For yourself. You can't praise yourself and you got a bad load of sin. Ah. You got to come to the door. You got to come to Jesus, the word of the true and living God. Jesus said, ain't nothing come before me with what? Thieves and robbers looking for something. The mind ain't right. The heart ain't right. Huh? Oh, you can't get this but one way. The only way to get this right here. Jesus said, well, you got to come to me. And that that's sound, that sound possible. And the right, that sound, that sound, that sound correct, don't it? If he the word, and you want to know something about God, don't you think the word can tell you something about God? Jesus said what? Jesus said, in my father's house is what? Men and mansion? If you believe in God, believe what? Also in me. Why? Because I'm the word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was what? With God, I will with my father. As one grew up with my father. You believe in five books of the Bible? Or you believe in what? You believe in Christmas? You believe in Easter? You believe in all these man-made holidays? You believe in this, that, and the other? You have come in here and distort the word of God? You change this and you change that? But guess what? The word is still here. You need to throw out the, 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 the as I said so many times, you need to throw out, throw out the what? The dirty water. But keep the baby. Throw out all that mess and all that stuff that man have promulgated Propagate to our ears and continue to. See? Throw, that, throw all that stuff away. Get, go back, go back here to the word and get it the right way. That's why they can't do nothing with the word here. Can't do nothing with the word here. And I'm not picking on Allah or, or, or Elijah Muhammad, I'm not picking up, I'm talking about the word. If you claim to be, if you if you if you get on, if you get on the turf of Jesus Christ our Lord and you claim claim to say something about my God and it ain't true, and I look in the book, huh? And you come six hundred years after, and Jesus said what? He said, This same Jesus, this same Jesus, this same Jesus, did not the angel say, This same Jesus, this same Jesus, as you see him now. What? He will what? Come. This same Jesus. This same. He didn't say no what? Somebody else. See, y'all y'all, y'all don't know it. Some of you don't know it. See, I got that from Fred Price over 40 some years ago. See, this same Jesus. This same Jesus. This same Jesus. Want a white Jesus? Want a black Jesus? Want a red, yellow? The same Jesus. Had some of everything in him. A composite. He, some of everybody in him. You want to make him that? You want to make him. Oh no, that ain't gonna never happen. That's from the pits of hell. Devil. Satan. Sir. All right. Now, let me move on. Once again, don't you get frightful. Don't you get scared when you hear all these people talking about this right here and talking about that right there. You see what I'm saying? See? See? I don't know. God hasn't showed it to me, but I sure he showed me some things in his Bible here that he first and foremost, that he Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He the bishop. Of my soul. Huh? Huh? He's the author of my salvation. Oh, you don't want to hear that, do you? The devil don't want you to know that. See, we need God more so than ever before. You see what I'm saying? Yes, we do. So I want to encourage your heart. It's a beautiful day out there. Go out there and enjoy yourself with the knowledge of God in your spirit. See? And when I mean enjoy yourself, you don't have to enjoy yourself with things, with things of the world. You know what I mean? What do I mean, man? Things of the world. Them evil and these wicked 
things of the world. And you know what I mean? The Bible, this, hey look, I get it just like all y'all get it. That's walking with God. Trying to become what? Christ-like. See, and learning that only by the power of God that can be. All, all, all God wants is your free will. See what I'm saying? That's what God wants. I understand. The Bible even speaks about the appearance. The appearance of evil is sin. He says, stay away from even the appearance of evil. Sin. Now, I got a problem with that. Now, maybe y'all ain't got no problem with that. See, it used to be a humongous problem. But over 40 years, It get lesser and lesser and have gotten lesser and lesser and lesser and lesser, and lesser, lesser because of my desire and love for God because of the power of God has entered my spirit and been working with me over 40 years. And I ain't got there yet, but I'm, I'm closer than ever before. See? See? Proverbs 18.21, the power the light, how that, how that thing go, 1821, uh, 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 the power of life and death is in the tongue. It's in the tongue. If you say I can't, if you say I won't, if you say I, I don't understand, and guess what? You, you're speaking to your own self. Your tongue is speaking, what? That you ain't going to be able to do it. You ain't going to be able to hang you ain't going to be able to do it. You don't see it. Well, you know you see it. See? It said whatsoever you say, it didn't say good. It said whatever you say. But if you speak what God said, you profess what God profess, over, over, with your tongue, that's what you're going to become. See? Because even speaking to yourself, that's more credibility than anybody else, anything else. You're going to believe what you say. You see? And therefore, you're going to inquire the faith that you need. See? So you can speak life or you can speak death. You can speak good or you can speak what? Bad. Whatever you speak, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, a divine law whatsoever you speak. That's what. You become. I hope y'all understood that. So over the over the year, I've been for speaking, 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 what God speak, what God said. See? And I fall sometimes, but I get back, I gotta get back up and continue on the process. And it getting better and better and better and better. So the appearance of evil is sin. Don't try to fool yourself. Don't fight. What do you mean by the appearance, brother? That means, that means what? That means if I tell you that I'm a cowboy, and then I, I, I brought everybody, but when you see me, my appearance, I dress like a what? An Indian. So I'm really not a cowboy. <laughs> I'm an Indian because I'm dressed like an Indian. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That's the same thing with any and everything else. If I say I love God, but when you see me, I dress like a pimp. I act like a pimp. I talk like a pimp. But I'm not a man of God. I can tell you anything. The appearance. See, your appearance is not the appearance of what? Of a holy person trying to walk holy, talk holy, be holy, like God is holy. Be ye holy for I am holy. That's what God said. He would never ask us to be something that what? We couldn't be. But you got to give it up. Paul said what? He said, well, I gave all of it up. I cast everything I used to be and everything I used to do that didn't belong where I'm going here with this man called Jesus or God Almighty. I gave it up just to follow him. You know that song? I follow Jesus. I follow Jesus. That's all I know. I follow Jesus. I follow him. Amen. And on that note right there, I'm ready to go and tell y'all to have a blessed day.
and holy day. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory.